Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizogl, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own soundtrack for your Construct 2 game. To get started, we need to go to a website called bipbox.co. I'm just going to create a new project. Actually, I'm just going to show you what I've done already. So I did this, let's pause this. I did this by Let's go here and go there by actually clicking on some of the boxes here and then go to the next stage. So have a play around. So once you are happy with your track you have created you can click and drag and you can click and drag to deselect as well okay once you are happy with the track you have created you can actually export the track you put the appropriate name and then click export so you export the soundtrack okay then you download the soundtrack you cop you get the soundtrack from one folder and you paste the soundtrack into another folder. Let's replace that. And that's how you have your soundtrack. So I have a soundtrack here, my Peekaboo soundtrack. Let's listen to it. Okay, so that's my Peekaboo soundtrack. I'm gonna go to my Construct2 game, right click on my sound folder, select Import, and select my Peekaboo soundtrack. Click Import. Okay. Now I want this soundtrack to play when the sound when the game starts. So I'm going to go to the events. I'm going to add a new event and a system event, and I'm going to say on start of layout add an action audio action. I'm going to select the play. Now, if you cannot see the audio action there. What you will need to do, let me delete it from here. Okay, this audio, yes. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna right click, insert new object, and select audio. Okay, so now I've got my audio. I'm gonna go to the events, add an action, audio action, play sound. And from the drop-down list, I'm going to select my Peekaboo soundtrack, and I'm going to make sure it's looping. And within, uh, for the tag, it is important for us to put the tag here, so we can actually call this soundtrack when we try to control it later on. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, my soundtrack. I'm going to copy this now. And select done. So as soon as the game starts, okay. We need to add first of all, insert an object. The object we are going to insert is a button object. I'm going to put call it BTN sound on, and I'm gonna change the text to put and to say sound on by default this sound on button will be invisible so I'm going to change that to invisible because the sound is on straight away as soon as the game loads the sound will be on so this button doesn't need to be visible now I need to add another another object another button and I'm gonna call it BTN sound off click insert I'm just gonna put it above this button here and I'm gonna increase the size so it's similar to the other button I'm going to change the text value to be sound off okay so 
The next thing I need to do is go to the event seat and add a new event. And I will say, on sound off button, when somebody clicks on the sound off button, so on click, I want something to happen. What I want to happen, the sound off button, I want to set visible, oops, I want to set the visibility to invisible. And also, I want to add to make sure that the sound on set to visible, to visible. As well as, because it's the sound off, I'm going to click here, audio, and I'm going to select stop. And then I'm going to paste what I've copied before, my soundtrack. So I'm controlling now my soundtrack. So I'm saying stop my soundtrack. I'm going to add another event. This time it's going to be the BTN sound on. And then on click the event. So I've got my sound off. So now I'm working on my sound off. I'm going to reverse these three actions. So the first action will be the sound on will be set to invisible. The next action will be the BTN button off, sorry, BTN sound off, set visible to visible. And the audio, I'm going to select play. From the drop down list, I'm going to select Peekaboo soundtrack. I'm just going to paste this here, my soundtrack. Okay, so by default, by default, the sound off button is visible. The sound plays. When somebody clicks on the sound off button, the sound off button will become invisible, the sound on button will become visible, and the audio will stop playing. When, the, when somebody clicks on the BTN sound on, the BTN sound on will become invisible, the BTN sound off will become visible, and the sound will stop playing. Let's test it. As you can hear, the sound plays. If I click on my sound off, the sound stops. If I click on the sound on, my sound starts. So this is how you imp create your own soundtrack. So you have the copyright of your soundtrack that you are going to add onto your video game. This is how you import the soundtrack onto your Construct 2 game by going to the sound folder, right click, select import. The, and these are the three events that you need to apply in order to control your soundtrack. Thank you very much for watching.